Hi, I'm Ted Bollinger with TVS Pro, and today we're going to take one of the first looks at the new Sony Professional Laser Projector, the VPL PHZ10. This is a revolutionary projector in that for the first time we're able to break that $3,000 price range for a 5,000 lumen solid state laser based projector. It's also 50% smaller and 45% less weight than its predecessor, so it's a true fourth generation laser projector. And here we have the inputs. As you can see, we've got control, we've got HD base T, we've got two HDMIs, we've got audio in and out, we've got uh, VGA and good old composite video, which a lot of projectors are leaving off nowadays, and then your USBs for updates. So today we're going to take uh, a look at the Sony by comparing it to some of the other projectors on the market. The first one we're going to take a look at is the NEC, the uh, 505HL. It's a great little projector. We have a lot of these in the field. Uh, it was one of the first laser-based projectors to be small. The Sony's actually a little bit smaller. It's about an inch and a half less high, uh, but very similar. And you can see we've got a, a distribution amp feeding the same signal via HDMI into both projectors, so we can do a little quick comparison here. Brightness uh, should be fairly close to the same. So first thing you'll notice, they're very simpler, simple in terms of their series. They both have mechanical shift horizontally and vertically. And these are manual fixed base lens, manual zoom lenses. Uh, they're not interchangeable lenses. The Sony, when you slide this little cover back, you have zoom and focus. And the NEC, the focus is done actually by touching the lens uh, rings in front and adjusting it there, but very similar overall. So we wanted to show you here the modes that we're shooting these uh, projectors in comparison to each other. The uh, NEC's in the high brightness mode, so it can be very close to the brightness of the Sony. The Sony's in a dynamic. Uh, the Sony has a higher brightness mode presentation, but as in most projectors, the color accuracy goes away a little bit. So we want, just wanted to establish that both these projectors are in the modes we just mentioned. and. Uh, we're just reading a, a luminance brightness off the back of her dress. We're getting about 35, 36 uh, off the Sony. And if we go over here on the NEC, uh, we're getting a little bit less, but it's still 31. Sometimes it'll bounce up to 32, which is telling us that yes, they're both in the same class, in this case a 5,000 lumen, where the foot candle rating is merely representing the amount of light at that size of screen. So this slide, which is from the Extron projection shootout slides, uh, is, is basically to establish that both projectors can put out very good sharp images. They're both laser based, they're both 5,000 lumens. Um, the NEC was one of the lowest cost laser projectors until the Sony was introduced and it's uh, significantly less. We'll talk about more about that later, but this is just to show you they're both capable of some very good pictures. So here we're looking at a scene, uh, again, this is now starting to show some of the differences, and this is more of a difference of the technology than the manufacturers. They're both laser, they're both 5,000 lumens, but the DLP, to get this kind of brightness, is sacrificing some of the, the color. It uses a color wheel which cycles the red, green, blue, yellow, white, or red, green, blue, white, depending on the color wheel. And uh, so you might have seen some of the color flicker in some of the earlier images of this video. We've tried to slow the shutter speed way down to minimize that because what we want you to see is, is the color in the skin tones. And uh, what we're going to do now uh, is I'm going to uh, show you here in just a minute as I adjust the various color modes because I can get slightly better color on the NEC, but I trade off brightness to do it. Okay, so here we're going to show you uh, in most DLPs, including this NEC, you have the capability of making the decision between is brightness more important or if you want to try to get better color, you can see as I drop down, uh, the, the color between here and here is getting better. Uh, video we've found is about the best. Movie is kind of in between the two. Graphic is kind of flat. So I'm going to put it in the video and remove this menu so you can get an idea now we have, you know, much better color, but now we've traded off our brightness. This image uh, is a good one to compare projectors because it allows you to compare skin tones, which in a lot of cases is one of the most important thing because the human eye is very sensitive to what skin color is or should be. 
um, and also the detail in the hair and in the eyes uh, in her sweater there. So we are still in its best color mode on the left with the uh, DLP projector. Uh, so we're not quite as bright as on the right, but also it's still not quite reaching that color accuracy. So again, there's a big difference between a three chip and a one chip. And uh, we're gonna show you now how we can get brightness, but we're gonna give up more color to do that. So we're still in the uh, movie mode here, or excuse me, the video mode. The, uh, the movie mode is a little brighter, not quite as accurate. The, the video seems to be the most accurate mode, uh, but we can go up to the movie mode or the high brightness mode. I'll take that menu off so you can compare them there. And you can see we've now got brightness that's as good or better, but we've traded off color accuracy to do it. And of course, that's one of the challenges with all DLPs. So this time we're going to take a look at another uh, single DLP. This time it's Panasonic PTRZ570. And I should mention on the Sony on the right, which is the PT uh, or VPL PHZ10. Uh, this is a prototype, so this is not the final version. It won't be out till June and we're now in March. So just so you know, this is a prototype that we have uh, and this is part of our first look. So this is a good slide um, to show the Panasonic advancements in their color wheel technology. They've added yellow to the red, green, blue uh, instead of white. So they've got their, they still have really good whites, uh, but they've really boosted their yellows. So here you can see this is a great picture on both sides. Uh, you will notice, however, that the color brightness on the right is a little bit better. The reds are a little brighter, the greens a little brighter. Uh, blues are a little bit different, but they're still good blues. Uh, I, 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 this is a good chance that I want you to hear the difference between the fan noise. So um, I'm going to move this about three inches from the exhaust on the Panasonic. It's rated at uh, 5400 lumens in the center, 52, so it's actually rated a little brighter than the Sony. And then let's go over here on the Sony. Not sure how much of that you're going to hear, but um, there's a significant difference between the uh, fan noise on the two. So this image uh, is one of the most difficult for DLP projectors to do. They have a difficult, most DLP projectors have a very difficult time with pink. There are still some differences, but this does about as good a job as I've seen for a non three chip uh, imaging device. And I think, uh, as you can probably tell, brightness on the two is uh, seemingly very compar comparable in terms of brightness of the light areas. As you get into the more saturated color, there's a little bit of difference, but overall it's pretty amazing. This slide is one of the most difficult for any display device, whether it's a flat screen TV or a projector, a uh, computer monitor, and this is a very smooth gradient going from the center at approximately 100 IRE all the way out to the corners, which is a saturated color. Uh, and as we would expect, yes, you can see a difference between the DLP and a three chip on this slide. Uh, for some applications, this may make absolutely no difference, but it's something you would want to be aware of depending on what kind of information you're displaying and needing to focus on. So there's our first look at the Sony. We're excited about it. Um, again, uh, 5,000 lumens laser, fourth generation. It is smaller, lighter. Uh, three chip color, so very, very good color. And uh, it will be under $3,000, which will uh, essentially eclipse all of its competitors. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to seeing the actual production versions of it.